G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and welcome back to DCS 2.0 Nevada Test and Training Range. Sorry there hasn't been a lot of DCS World on the channel recently, I will come to that later in the video, but first things first, today we're flying out the French Dassault Mirage 2000C. This is a stunningly beautiful aircraft and one of my favourite fixed wings in DCS. I really love flying this plane. It is gorgeous and it is so fast. The sound's going to sound a little bit funny here, and that was an F5 Aggressor, I'll come to those in a moment. Uh, the sound's going to sound a little bit funny here, I spend a lot of time supersonic during this fight. So inside of the cockpit, it is very, very quiet. So for today's flyout, as I mentioned a moment ago, we are doing an Aggressor flight, which is appropriate for NTTR. A two-ship flight of Mirage 2000s versus a two-ship flight of F5 Aggressors. Now, normally this is incredibly easy to do. Well, actually, it's always incredibly easy to do. But I am trying to make it a little bit more difficult on myself in this particular flight. First things first, I am not giving the order for my wingman to engage. So it'll be me versus the F5s alone. And secondly, I'm going to try and engage the F5s at relatively close range. This means rather than using the two Super 530 radar guided missiles that I have on board, I'll instead be using the R550 Magic 2s that I have. These are infrared guided missiles, maximum range is about 15 kilometers, but you really want to be well inside of 10 before you let one of these go. Now I've already got eyes on my first target, it's going vertical at the moment. It looks like it was taking a pass trying to engage my wingman. Got tone and release. Target is close, so break right, and splash one. Tracking the debris on my six, and I spot the second F5 crossing over. It looks like he's trying to fall in behind me, so invert and put the plane into a sharp dive, gain as much airspeed as I possibly can to open up a gap. Lose track of the target over my right shoulder, however I managed to pick it up again on the left hand side, it's in a sharp dive, and it's not following me directly, so if I bank the plane hard enough here, throw it into a tight left hand, I may be able to corkscrew onto the F5-6. Now the Mirage isn't really designed for this kind of fighting, it can do it, but it's not great at it, and the beeping at the moment is telling me that I'm pushing the plane about to its limit of falling out of the sky. Throttles to full burn and straighten up for a split second to try and pick up some airspeed, but I can't really afford to actually back out of this at the moment. I've got the F5 to my 11 o'clock, I'm almost in on his tail, although he's going to undercut me here a little bit, so corkscrew in tighter, take the aircraft almost vertical towards the ground. And I lost visual on him there for a split second, he managed to break away, but that's alright, I managed to pick up some airspeed in the process so I can turn back in. rapidly running out of altitude to continue this at this point. He pulls vertical going for altitude and this is my opportunity, he's not turning away. He banks over as I start getting a missile lock, once again I've got the plane screaming at me that this is not the way I should be flying it. Following through the mountains we're getting really low here, my wingman is just flying off my left hand side, you'll see it crossing over there at the moment and we have missile lock but I don't have him directly in front. I'd probably get the shot from here, but pull him around till he's in the center, release, and splash two. And that is the aggressor wing eliminated. As I said, not a particularly difficult mission to complete, and it can be done even easier. If you use the Super 530s, you can comfortably take out the F5s at you know, 15 to 20 kilometers range without actually having to engage in a maneuvering fight. But the maneuvering fight is so much more Both fun. Haven't splashed. You can RTB. All right then, RTB a shell. So, there hasn't been a lot of DCS World on the channel recently, and I'm going to let you guys know why, and I'm going to ask you a question. Basically, as most of you are aware, I have some pretty serious issues with my eyes. 
and these issues are not getting any better. In fact, they have been getting worse for some time. Uh, what's been happening recently is my eyes are most of the time not good enough. I have my good days and my bad days with my eyes. Most of the time they're not good enough to actually be able to spot targets. Like they're just, they're not sharp enough, they're not fast enough. They feel slow. I, that's, let's put it that way. It's, it's really hard to describe to anybody who has never had a visual disability or a severe visual disability, but they just feel slow to do everything. Slow to focus, slow to pick up, slow to notice things. And this of course makes playing DCS nearly impossible in tight fighter fights. Now I still play DCS but normally the way I get around it is by turning the markers on and flying the markers. This allows me to make up for the issue with the eyes and I can play comfortably no problems at all. But I have always been a little bit unsure about actually doing videos on YouTube with the markers turned on because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like that. This is what I want to ask you guys. I want to put more DCS on the channel. I really do want to fly it. I have a great time flying this, but I can't fly without the markers on a lot of the time. Unless I'm on a good day, I just won't be able to see, and therefore I won't be able to do anything, except, you know, fly some circuits around the maps and enjoy the look of the aircraft, but I won't actually be able to engage any targets. If you guys are happy with me flying with markers, I will turn the markers on and I'll start doing more videos on DCS. I will still try and do them without markers wherever it is possible. If I'm happy to be having a good day, markers will go off and I will try and fly that way. But this will allow me to be able to make videos and to show you guys what I get up to in game on the days when, well, my eyes are being less than cooperative. And if you're not happy with that, I will just keep to doing DCS videos whenever I'm having a good day and can actually fly without having the red and blue markers all over the screen. Anyways, that out of the way, I, like an idiot, flew all the way to the Air Force Base that I was planning on landing at, no problems at all. Forgot to announce the fact that I was coming in and forgot to announce the fact that I was coming in for landing, so I had to do a couple of circuits at the end of the runway while I waited for landing clearance. I know you can just go and land on the runway, but I do like to do things by the book, if I possibly can. Now landing the Mirage 2000, it's actually one of the aircraft that I have the easiest time putting on the ground, although this wasn't the cleanest landing, but for other reasons. Generally the biggest issue I have when I go to land in DCS is I have a tendency to come in way too fast. The Mirage, however, likes to land fast. It's a delta wing, you've got to keep its speed up. You land significantly faster than you would in a, well, any other aircraft. So I tend to have much better luck with the Mirage 2000. However, I did have a small problem. I didn't realize it at the time as I was coming into land, but for some reason the brake axes on my rudder pedals had actually been inverted. So with feet off the tow brakes, the game considered me to be at full braking as I was approaching for landing, which um, made the landing a little bit rougher than I would have liked. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave you guys with the landing. Uh, remember to click that like button if you do, subscribe if you want to see more and you haven't already, and remember to let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you are happy for me to flick the markers on and do some DCS videos that way, or whether or not you just want the screen clean as it has been so far. And until next time, ladies and gents, I will catch you in the skies.